Uh, so my name is Quentin. Everybody just calls me Q. Uh, that's what all my regulars know me as. Most of them don't even know my real name. Um, I bartend at On The Curb. It's an organic eatery sports bar. Uh, basically, we do sell alcohol and everything, but we just try to promote healthy eating at the same time. So organic grass-fed beef, wild-caught seafood, um, whole nine yards, stuff like that. Uh, I've been bartending for about a year now. Uh, again, I just... Uh, I have no previous experience bartender or anything like that. They just like the way I serve. So they were like, we think you do great behind the bar. So they gave me the chance. And then I had Gabby, who was patient enough <laughs> to teach me how to bartend. And uh, she's a great bartender. She's taught me a lot that I know right now. And it's gotten me to where I am now because people always are like, well, you really do look like you know what you're doing, even though you've only been bartending for a few months. Well, I had a good teacher. Um, uh, I like working there because when I am at the bar top, the type of clientele that we like to keep around or bring in, it's uh, a lot of people there are very, yes, they are high maintenance, but they're high class individuals as well. They come in, yes, they want to they wanna old fashioned at 2.30 p.m., but they're going to be on their laptops, they're going to be working, they're going to be at the bar networking uh, and stuff like that. So um, I've met a whole crazy yards of people that I wouldn't have even expected to give me the time or day or courtesy of anything that I've done. Um, so yeah. So it sounds to me like you're more of a craft style bartender. I guess you could agree with that, right? Yeah, no, people do not order shots. Yeah. <laughs> you have to tell, you have to be like, hey, how you doing? You want a shot? Yeah. Like, yeah so what, what really made you want to enter a speed rails challenge where it's, um, you got to mix the, the two really? So for one, you know, when when I came to support Kenna for hers, John was so gracious enough to <laughs> to trick me in the back here for the uh, Mexican candy re um, relay or whatever. Um, and you know after that, it uh, Gabby was the one that came up and was just like, you know what, I'm signing us up for it. You're doing it, and I was like, excuse me. And for some reason, I don't know what came over me, I was just like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And so yeah. that's what happened, that's how we got into it. And um, we made it to the finals and you know, I'm here to do it again, so. Nice, so you know, making it to the finals, you're able to do it a few rounds. What are you taking from that experience, those couple rounds into this next season with you? Um, well, definitely when you're, when you're in that, all the lights on you and everything, it's a bit nerve wracking. And I'm already like anxious and all that stuff all the time, so. Um, definitely gonna go in a few shots ahead of time to calm, to calm the nerves for sure, <laughs> just to make sure. No, I'm kidding. Um, but definitely, um, you know, set placement, things like that, making sure the well is set up better. Um, all my resets, make sure that we have it set up from the beginning to start to make sure it's just easier flowing with the hands and stuff like that at the end. So Yeah, so that comes with the experience for sure. So another thing, kind of going back out to your style of bartending, in your future, what do you what do you see for yourself in the future and your your experience? Do you want to stay in craft or do you want to uh, maybe expand your horizons or what, what's what's the future hope for you? So it's funny I might get in trouble for saying this, but I've already done a few private events outside of uh, bartending at like an actual my my job job. So mm -hmm. um, I've done gender reviews uh, reviews uh, reveals uh, baby showers, you know, simple things like that. I've done birthdays and things and. Uh, I kind of like the aspect of like, hey, you know, if you have an event, call me. Because yeah. the one I, way I am when I bartend, it's a party. I don't, I'm not your normal like, oh, what can I get for you? I'm like, let's turn the fuck up right now. Like, I don't care where I'm at. So um, I definitely like when people are like, hey, I'll recommend you for this event I have going on. Because the last event I did, two people were there and they both got me already like set up yes. to bartend at these two events they have coming up for their companies. Like, it's not like friends that I know that are doing stuff in their backyard. I'm actually going to be at company events, mm -hmm. bartending at private events. So right. uh, that, that's a little bit exciting for me. Oh, one last, one last question. You have anything to say to the cities of Austin or Dallas at this, this very moment? Well, y'all better bring that shit. Y'all better bring that shit on right now. No, don't play, don't play with Houston. You better come around or come down. That's what All I'm right. talking about. <laughs>